Ready to maximize profits using a super easy scalping technique? In this video, I'll show you a simple and effective scalping strategy using a free buy sell indicator from TradingView. Hello everyone, welcome to the Forex Strategy Explorer channel. Today, we're going to talk about how to scalp gold or XAU USD using the 15 minute time frame. But don't worry, aside from scalping gold, you can also apply this same method if you want to use it on other assets like Forex, crypto, or others. We'll keep this video short and straight to the point, so it will be really easy to understand. So, make sure you stay with us until the end, and don't forget to support this channel by liking and subscribing so you don't miss out on other exciting strategies. Now, open your trading view. As I mentioned earlier, we will demonstrate how to use this scalping strategy on the gold pair or XAU USD. So, now set your pair to gold or XAU USD. Then, set the time frame to 15 minutes. After that, you can go to the indicator search tab. In the indicator search tab, type CM Sling Shot System. Then, just select the CM Sling Shot System by Chris Moody. Next, configure the Sling Shot System indicator. In the Input tab, disable all the checkboxes. Once you've done that, simply click OK to confirm the changes. This slingshot system indicator will be used as a trend guide in the market. Using this indicator is very simple. If the slingshot system indicator turns green, it's a sign of a bullish trend. In this situation, you should only focus on finding the best points to place a buy order. On the other hand, if the slingshot system indicator turns red, it's a sign of a bearish trend. In this situation, you should focus on finding the best points to place a sell order. Now, let's add the second indicator, which will guide us in placing orders in the market. Go to the indicator search tab and type Blackpika XBT USD Algo. Then, select the Blackpika XBT USD Algo by Picacha Ventures. Next, adjust the settings for this indicator. In the input tab, change the look back period value to 15. Then, change the sensitivity value to 5. After that, go to the style tab. In the style tab, uncheck all options except for the long and short tabs. Once you've done that, simply click OK to confirm the changes. This Blackpika indicator will be used to guide you in placing orders in the market. All you need to do is follow the signals shown by the indicator. To make it clearer, let's go over how to place buy and sell orders using this scalping strategy. How to place a buy order. If the slingshot system indicator turns green, it's a sign of a bullish trend. In this case, you will only look for the best point to place a buy order. Wait for a buy signal to appear from the Blackpika indicator. Once the buy signal appears, ensure the candlestick formed is a bullish candlestick. If everything aligns, you can place a buy order after the bullish candlestick has fully closed. Set the stop loss at the most recent swing low. Use a take profit target with a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1.5.
How to place a sell order. If the slingshot system indicator turns red, it's a sign of a bearish trend. In this case, you will only look for the best point to place a sell order. Wait for a sell signal to appear from the black pika indicator. Once the sell signal appears, ensure the candlestick formed is a bearish candlestick. If everything aligns, you can place a sell order after the bearish candlestick has fully closed. Set the stop loss at the most recent swing high. Use a take profit target with a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. How to place a sell order. If the slingshot system indicator turns red, it's a sign of a bearish trend. In this case, you will only look for the best point to place a sell order. Wait for a sell signal to appear from the black pika indicator. Once the sell signal appears, ensure the candlestick formed is a bearish candlestick. If everything aligns, you can place a sell order after the bearish candlestick has fully closed. Set the stop loss at the most recent swing high. Use a take profit target with a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. Always maintain good money management and keep your trading psychology in check. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. That's all for now, and see you in the next video.